The attention of Nigeria Customs Service Management has been drawn to deliberate and mischievous distortion of facts against the person of the Comptroller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ibrahim Ali Retired, and the entire management of the service. The allegation by a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria attributes the payment of 1.6 billion naira to consultants for recruitment of 3,200 persons into the service without disclosing the details of how the said amount was arrived at. This, the service views as an attempt to misinform the public and to lead them into believing what is not correct. To clarify, the actual amount budgeted is 1 billion 570 million 769 thousand naira. Of this amount, 300 million naira is what has been earmarked for recruitment process. Feeding of the 3,200 recruits for the period of six months mandatory basic training is pegged at 1 billion 152 million naira. This translates to 2,000 naira daily feeding per each recruit for the six months duration. The remaining 118,769,000 naira of the total amount goes to logistics, training kits, and teaching allowances. Therefore, to link the figure to recruitment only and to push the bigger picture of the training under the carpet is quite uncharitable and could be a desperate attempt to discredit the service. For the avoidance of doubt, copies of the Nigeria Customs Services budget with detailed breakdown have been submitted to the Senate Committee on Customs, and the Senator in question has them, but choose to misinform the public. In like vein, the Senator has alleged that the contract for building the new Nigeria Customs Service headquarters had been reviewed from 2.7 billion naira to 30 billion naira. This is totally false and devoid of any respect for facts. To set the record straight, since the award of the contract in 2006 at the cost of 2,884,293,955 Naira 20 Kobo, it has undergone three reviews. In 2010, the cost of the contract was reviewed to 4,593,136,206 Naira 18 Kobo. It was reviewed again to 9,923,302,288 Naira 37 Kobo. The latest review was in 2018 when it was reviewed to 15,634,719,120 Naira 95 Kobo. Thus, they claim that the contract had been reviewed to 30 billion Naira is baseless. As a responsible agency of government, the management of the Nigeria Customs Service hereby restates its determination to remain transparently accountable in the discharge of its duty to the public. It therefore calls on Nigerians to be wary of unfounded allegations, especially those coming from highly placed individuals who have chosen to do so for unknown reasons. The Nigeria Customs Service holds the National Assembly in high esteem and respects the position all senators occupy, but takes strong exceptions on the individual attempt by the senator to discredit the service. You